today I'm going to show you how to write Kotlin code. So we're going to write a Kotlin program and we're going to use IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition IDE. Now I'm assuming you've already installed this and here I've already uh, got the program running and the first thing we need to do is to click on new project. So you may see a different, uh, a few different options here, but the one we want is new project. You'll always see this one. So click on new project. Now, depending on whether you've um, set up a project before on your computer, you'll see that one or one of these will be highlighted. Now, we're going to be using Kotlin, so make sure this is highlighted and first thing you need to do is to give your project a name I'm going to call mine Kotlin1 and notice how this is automatically filled in now we're going to create a console application so you will see the output of your code shown in a console within the IDE and we are going to use the build system IntelliJ uh, you could use a different build system, but for this purpose I'm going to use IntelliJ. Now you have to have a JDK Java development kit to be able to run Kotlin. So select from the list. If you don't have one installed, make sure you download it and that will be done automatically for you, assuming that you're on the internet. Okay, so then you just click on the next button. So it's Kotlin, give your project a name. This will be automatically filled, but make a, make a note of where your projects will be saved. And we're going to select console application, IntelliJ, and select your JDK, and then click on the next button. From here, it's just showing you that it's going to give you a template in the console application program. And it's going to create a simple Hello World Kotlin JVM application that works in the console. Uh, you don't need to change these at all, just click on Finish. And then it's going to start configuring your code. Now you will see, or you might see, this experimental feature alert. Now you have to accept the terms of this notice in order to use this feature. So click on the down arrow here and you'll need to read this, scroll down and click on accept. Okay, so once you've done that, you'll see that the project has been set up for you. And you can see these three items here. Now for, for this purpose today, we don't need to be concerned about these. We're only interested in our project Kotlin 1. Now this is a folder, click to open the folder now we need to look at the source code so look at the source folder now we need to look at the main function the one that's going to be the function that starts your code so click on main now it is Kotlin code so click on this and there we have our file main.kt which is the source code that we're going to execute today now if you double click on this you'll see it's already been given for you and you can just start from here and change the code but it's always a good idea to execute this code by clicking on the run button now you can there's various places you can select the run button here is the run button we can also use run and run from here or you can use a shortcut on the keyboard so let's just select this one now it's asking which class you're going to run. We're using the main KT class and that will be generated from building this code. So click on the button there and run. So now it's going to go through building the code. Now if you look at the bottom status bar here, you've got the build is in progress right now. So keep an eye on the messages at the bottom or wherever you've located your your bar. So here it's connecting and compiling the Kotlin 1 code and so once it's complete it will then open a console and run the program showing the output in the console. 
so now it's just about finished and there it is so here is the console window and there is the output hello world and here we've got the message process finished with exit code zero so if you see code zero it means everything is run properly and there are no errors to report now the line above here is actually the executable uh, command that is essentially linking all the libraries together and the Java archives and everything relevant to be able to create or to run your class. Now at the minute our class is called main KT and when that is executed here you can see it's going to print hello world and there it is hello world and here we had no errors so let's just change this just to show you that so let's print hello Kotlin and now this is a new new code so it will need to be rebuilt and then executed so when you click uh, click on the button let's try this one this time so here we're going to run this class main KT and now it's going through the process at the bottom you can see it's building you'll see the the progress bar and any output messages so at the minute it's compiling the code it's finished it linked in its libraries and here you can see it's now executed so it's now printing hello Kotlin and again there were no errors and that's essentially it now to to exit the system completely you can just click on the button here or if you want to just close the project you can close the project from here and so if I do that then you can see we've going back to the welcome screen your project is there so any projects will be listed here and your project on your disk will be saved into whichever path was set at the beginning when you set up the project. Now in my case the projects are under in my home folder under idea projects and it creates a new folder for each project and in that folder you can see we've got the source folder which contains the main function under Kotlin and there is the file that we actually ran, executed, built and executed and there it is. So that's a quick summary of uh, using the IntelliJ IDEA software to create and run a Kotlin program.